So we're here at our Modern Sunset Project. It's been a little while since you've seen the tour, so we're gonna take you through, show you a lot of the progress happening. We have our stone crew here working on exterior stone. We have our cabinet company here working on cabinetry. Pretty soon we're gonna be working on brown coat for stucco. So let's take you to our Modern Sunset. And check this one out. So here on our progress update, we're standing here on uh, the back side of the home. Again, this home is roughly 6,000 square feet uh, between the main house here, which is connected with essentially three buildings. We have the main center building, which is here behind me. That's gonna be entry, great room, laundry, kitchen, patio area that you can see this huge cantilever deck out there. That's gonna be that main aspect. Then we have a glass gallery, glass gallery that we're gonna take you around. This connects the primary suite. So here behind me right here, this is the primary suite, right? Primary bedroom, a little office, coffee area, bathroom, you know, full walk-in closet. Again, another glass gallery off of that center building into the other masonry structure that's gonna be the guest suite. So we have two bedrooms back there, full en suites. And then of course we have one detached building. So three little buildings connected through glass hallways and galleries. And then we have the guest casita here. You can see we have this multi-slider. What's really neat is you have this their own private element, you know, easy access from the driveway here. Coming up the mountain, you can see here at the bottom of the hill, we have a thousand foot driveway. So again, we have some other videos showing the coordination coming up a thousand foot driveway, up from the cul-de-sac, up this hillside. Just the amount of staging it took for our team to get to this point was pretty exceptional. But now we have plenty of driveway space. The reason being is we have to have a fire truck turned around by code. So if there's a fire, fire truck can get up here. Well, the benefit for us is it gives us a good landing pad for staging and trucks and vehicles. So now as we're coming into the guest casita, again, we have our uh, slider here. You know, there's access for the client. You come on in and what's great about this guest casita is it's full, fully functioning for uh, the clients and their guests, especially if they have people come visit in town. So we have a full walk-in closet here. This is gonna be all cabinetry in here for the custom closet. We have this little wet bar here, so you can see here that we already have this plan. Our cabinet company, we have the cabinetry being laid out. You're gonna see this as we tour you through the house. But essentially right here, we have a little refrigerator, you know, and cooktop. Everything that the clients need right here for a great little um, area. And then we have our bed wall. So this is gonna be our bed wall, so it's nice for guests. You come in here, you have this beautiful fixed window. Again, we don't have to have a balcony or anything because this is not operational. Amazing view, especially as you're waking up in the morning, you get this beautiful sunlight here in Arizona, and then a nice view of that negative edge pool as that water's coming over, so you get that sound element. We also have part of the design element of this modern home, these full high windows through Benelli. These are alu aluminum thermally broken, but again, complete privacy through here. We do have shades being installed, so that way if they do want a little bit darker, and of course we have the full ensuite, the bathroom here. So what's really nice, we have this water closet, one thing that's pretty cool in this water closet is, again, stuff that's unique. You have this full height window here. We have a little equipment yard out here, so we have some privacy there. The, the, there'll be no visual. The way this is designed is not only from the courtyard, but even if they're standing there because of the way this is angled in the toilet, you know, the water closet, they're not gonna be able to see in. Full height window, double vanity, and then right here, of course, our walk-in shower. This will be a curbless shower. You can see we've depressed the slab. And then we're gonna have our shower glass here. We'll be working on tile and our mud work. So this is the guest casita, fully operational, independent. Let's take you up to the main house now. So now we're gonna take you up again. This is that equipment yard we are mentioning. You can see again, some nice viewpoints. Uh, our water tank is just temporary. That's really so we can get the amount of water pressure up this hillside because we don't have a um, ton of water pressure just yet so we get anything up and firing. Uh, we have this nice curved radius wall. Again, the boulder's coming down. See those bullets have been set. So this is essentially our driveway. You're coming up this nice driveway and then our landing zone for all the equipment. And this is off of the primary uh, bedroom here. So you can see that's primary bedroom. It's gonna be office area. This is actually the shower. This is the shower for our clients. What's neat about this is that you can see where I'm standing. Uh, I may be able to see the top of someone's head in that shower. For them inside, they're gonna be able to have amazing views, all the natural light. But again, they have privacy, right? Because the window doesn't go below their neck. So now that they have full privacy, but they get all the natural light, uh, which is a great design element. Again, that's all been curated through our architect, Scott Carson at Coson. Now, as we're walking around, you can see our stone company. They're starting to install the stone. So they're working on the base ledgers here. All that stone. So all the masonry you see exposed is gonna be wrapped in uh, stone, glass gallery. 
let's take you through the pivot door. <laughs> so this is actually the entrance to the home. We're gonna bring you on through. This is gonna be a nine foot by 12 foot pivot door. We'll speak about this, bringing the outside in. But essentially this is gonna be the entry to the home. So guests as they're parking, they'll come in through this pivot door. This is the entry. So we have the entry here, the entry vestibule. Um, this is gonna be, a, a, again, another vestibule. As you come in, take your jacket off. We're going to be able to hang that. We also have the low voltage closet. So back in here, low voltage closet. We have an exhaust fan uh, to keep that aerated. But again, that's going to be for equipment. As you come in from the vestibule on the entry, this is the powder bathroom. So it's pretty neat. Again, we're going to have the vanity. It's amazing decorative. You can see here, uh, we have this, uh, this cladded wall. It's a design element. So this gets wrapped in tile. And then we have the water closet that's here on the flip side. And we also have a low exhaust fan. So one detail that we did here, you'll see is that the exhaust fan is low. It's out of the way. That way it's not in the ceiling. It's in the wall. So then that, you know, the fart fan, it's nice to not have to see it. And it's here on the backside. Again, natural light, right? This gets wrapped in stone. Before we get to the great room and the kitchen, we're gonna take you through this gallery. Again, we had mentioned as we started this, that we have three building structures connected to a glass gallery. So what's really neat for our clients, it's gonna be that desert artwork. So the glass is coming on Thursday of this week. So a couple more days, we'll have the glass here, entry door next week. But essentially you're gonna come, you can already see that we have the base. We have our hemlock wood ceiling. So that hemlock wood ceiling starts outside at the metal fascia, comes inside the home. Again, we have all the glazing. So it creates this beautiful aspect as you, you know, finish the day, finish the evening even waking up in the morning and you get all this natural light. Now we can come into this masonry structure. Now we're entering the primary suite. We have the steel lintel above us for that masonry opening. But as we come in here, we have a great multi-slider. So this nice multi-slider, large cover patio, off of the primary bedroom, out to the hot tub. This will be the fireplace, working on our design elements and mill work around here. This will be our bed wall. So again, our clients have bed wall. They have full height glazing. Either side of the bed gives them plenty of natural light, plenty of view. Um, for, them, for our clients that may have to take an early call or an early morning meeting, especially as they're out of state, we have this desk area. So this is gonna be set at desk height, right? So it's lower, so we can sit there, they can work on their laptop, work on their iPad. And then again, a nice picture window as they're looking up to the hillside. In the morning as our clients are getting ready, Again, natural light is something that we wanted, you know, privacy for our client, as well as accessibility to the outside. This is our coffee bar. So this is gonna be our little built-in for the primary bedroom. You know, we have our countertop and um, our refrigerator drawers. And so a great area in the morning, you know, as our clients are getting ready. This is gonna be the primary bathroom. So we mentioned outside, we have the shower here. So that's gonna be our built-in shower. We have three windows on either side for our clients. Because of the design element, right, we want to optimize. We have a French door now from the bathroom so they can go from the bathroom outside to the hot tub. If they're outside at the hot tub, they can come in through the bathroom right into the shower. We also have the water closet. So the water closet is here tucked away. And this is going to be the tub. Um, as I take you here to this corner, you can see the tub is going to sit right here. So the tub is actually going to run long ways like this. So the tub runs long ways. The whole point is that our clients can sit down in the tub they can have their feet up, they're back here, here will be the tub filler. And with, so the tub filler is gonna be hidden on this side, right? But it's gonna be nice and decorative. But as they're laying in their tub with their feet up, they can look out and have this amazing view as they're in the bathtub. Now keep in mind that for privacy, we have these shades. The reason we have this little trough here with electrical is we have the, sh the shades are motorized from the ground up as opposed from the ceiling down. The reason being is that based on height of where they're on the tub, they can raise this to the adequate height to give them the privacy they need, but still have the visual and the natural light coming in from the outside. So pretty neat design element for our clients. As you sneak on back through, you can see that we have this low hanging partition wall by intent, you know, all custom cabinetry here on the master closet. So again, we have washer and dryer stackable. We have um, power back here, all custom cabinetry for our client. And again, we have the vanities and makeup area here on this side. Need the full height linen, which is important, but his and her vanities there, makeup desk here. So again, everything that they need here in this bathroom, 
and let's take you over to the other guest suites and the kitchen. So in the great room, we have this amazing fireplace detail, this linear fireplace right here. We're gonna have our TV area, so this is entertaining. We have our tall transom windows running all the way down with our multi-sliders that completely pocket. So we're standing right here in the great room. This is that butterfly roof detail, so you can see that it has this V coming up. And the reason being is it's bringing us outside you know, our, our eyes visually. So now as we're walking through, you're gonna have this great room, entertaining area, coming outside to the seating area, exterior pool, um, our hard deck. We're gonna be doing concrete deck with a thin tile out there. Now, <clears throat> this is our formal dining room. This is our temporary dining table, but it's more just for backing for our cabinetry. But we're gonna have a dining table here. This is gonna be a wet bar, so you gotta think beverage center, wet bar, entertaining area for our clients. And then now we come into the full kitchen. So in the kitchen, we have our double island. Again, we have those covered. We're gonna be getting ready for template and countertops. So double island, our perimeter cabinetry and a kitchen hood. We're not gonna be doing any upper cabinetry at the hood. The reason being that plenty of storage. We're gonna show you the walk-in pantry. But again, more storage here, appliances. Um, and we're gonna have the refrigerator freezer on that side. We also have another slider in the pocket. So this slider fully automated and pocketing, just as the other one. This goes out to the outdoor barbecue. So we have the outdoor barbecue and grill area right here, right off the kitchen. The whole element is that you get this open, you have that cooking space come all the way in. Client's entertaining, you got this long gray room, plenty of space for uh, to have a ton of guests, especially during the holiday season. Now, as we come back from the entertaining area, Again, very functional for our clients. This is their pantry, so connected to the kitchen, off of the garage. As our clients come in from the garage right here, we'll come back to the garage, four car garage, four car tandem. They're bringing in groceries, you just come right around this corner, you have a dry pantry, storage area, so we're starting to work on install of all the cabinetry here in our pantry, and this also connects to the laundry room. So now as we come into laundry, we have, this is the full uh, laundry. Really, this is for the guests because in the primary suite, we have a stackable washer and dryer. But we have washer dryer here, just a single because they don't plan on people staying too long. And then we have the full perimeter cabinetry here. Of course, being that this will be a sink, we have the wet base area, right? So they're gonna have a uh, sink here for the clients. And then nice corner window looking up, so plenty of natural light in this laundry. So it's really nice to have all the custom cabinetry from the laundry room to the pantry, all connected to the main house and really close to the bedroom suites. So we're here off of the garage. Uh, you can see all the stone we've had dropped off and stage here we're gonna be installing. But we have a four car garage. So with the hillside, there was a lot of coordination. Keep in mind, we have some massive hard dig into this hillside. So we can only go up so far, you know, to make this as wide as we could, plus the footprint and the complication with digging into the hill. So part of that design was, we'll do a longer tandem here. The reason, so that's the reason we have a tandem and then a double wide here. The reason being now we can still have four cars, but just cost wise for our client and to get through code and all the restrictions and costs, it, it, it worked out with the city of Scottsdale. But now we get this amazing garage. We have plenty of storage here, outdoor area there. We have equipment area here, so plenty of room. We have some custom garage cabinetry and our clients can fit all the cars they need. Plus they have plenty of parking out here. Coming to the house and we have this beautiful glass gallery right by intent. Getting that manicured desert look that's gonna be right here, that living art. Make a tight turn here and from, from the garage and you get into the dry pantry and the laundry room. And of course, you're walking out to the kitchen. Very easy for our clients. And now we're connected. So this is building three of the main structure. Again, connected through this glass gallery. And then you can see where it connects to the masonry. Again, that all gets wrapped in stone. So as we come on down this, we have two bedroom suites. So we'll make, we have a little lobby here in front of both bedrooms. As we come on on here, we're gonna have a stone wall here. So again, these decorative boxes are installed this way because we have stone. So that way they'll be nice and flush. When the stone's installed, it gives a nice termination for our boxes, makes it nice and clean. Multi-slider, so each of the bedroom suites have, again, access. They have it through the bedroom. We're gonna have little vestibules here. so. Uh, plenty of room and spacing, you know, bed wall for our client. As we come on into uh, bathroom, all of these will be en suites, which means they have a full bathroom and a full closet. So walk-in closet, vanity here. You can see natural light again. We'll have a fixed window. 
We have the walk-in shower and we walk out through the French door coming out to the private balcony and patio area. Because we have these wing walls in the bathroom design as such, the guests have their own little private morning or evening bistro area. They can sit out. We're going to have some turf and grass down below. Again, this tiered beautiful landscape package. But they can sit out here, have this nice covered patio, looking out at the beautiful hillside. And let's take you through bedroom number two. So now as we come into bedroom number two, you can see here, again, we have this alcove area, amazing sitting area, you know, relaxation area, plus the full bedroom. Got the bed wall there, private balcony out here, TV wall just for them. And then we're going to have these floating vanities installed. So we have the closet here, floating vanities installed with the wall mount faucets here. Going to have a double, you can see it's a double vanity. This one, they get a fixed window, so the only access they have it's going to be through their multi-slider. But again, this is going to be for maybe if grandkids, right? You got to have one tub in the home outside of the primary bathroom and then the corner window. So this is our modern sunset project. We, we went through the outside. But we have some great content showing some of the details happening right now throughout this project.